it's time to get your risk on. Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. Thanks for watching my video on Digitalic. I'm a Grandmaster ranked online risk player. Today we're back with the Swiss lady. And we're going to play some classic fixed. And uh, let's see how we do today. Now, a note about yesterday's video. I know it was highly edited. My editor and I um, worked on uh, trying a new editing style to see if we can condense the less exciting portion of the game. Uh, and I got my editor to do it in under an hour so that he was rushed. Um, so I understand that it was a little bit jarring to watch, but I assure you that if we do edit videos in the future, it won't be rushed and we will make sure that um, it'll be, be a lot smoother in, when we condense the game down and a lot less kind of like max headroom kind of flip floppy, right? Uh, but yeah, I hope you guys did enjoy the video nonetheless and the full version was available if you preferred to watch the full version. Holy shit, I got a pretty good spawn for Australia here. And not only that... I can hold it from India today. I do get an extra troop as well, and I can knock Orange out of here. And Orange can, has to go a long way. So the only player... That, and Green didn't do anything about this. I think it's better to take the Australia position on turn one and have heavy exteriors, right? So I think we're going to go with that. And by the way, guys, channel is still growing. Appreciate all my viewers. If you have not subscribed to my channel yet and you want to support this work that I'm doing, you can do so by hitting that subscribe button for me, please, and thank you. And if you are subscribed, don't forget, smash that like button for me. Okay. So what's Blue doing? I mean, Blue can threaten Australia as well. Maybe they do that. Yeah, they're going to get it. Okay, so I thought maybe they get to take an India and bring the 11 in. This is pretty good. This is actually pretty good. And pink isn't really in the zone to attack. Oh, yeah, I guess they are from the two. If we get perfect dice here on this deuce, I think we're good. Okay, that's close enough. Okay, we're guarding it with a five step. That's fantastic. Australia turn one. I love it. I absolutely love it. So pink's... Yeah, and orange can't really do anything about that now, right? Pink does put everything in Ukraine. On the watch, they're gonna, they're, they're gonna head towards Australia. They're gonna come fight me for it. Look at this. It's it's like a it's like a bad book. Yeah, and they're gonna try and look and they're gonna roll a, try and roll a three v two and lose everything. Ah, oh, this is just a really, really bad player. Oh, change of plans? What did they bought? Well, now they're just providing me protection, right? Which is actually a good thing. So pink's a beginner, right? This is just, that's a beginner move. You should, you should know that you can't just, you can't really do that. What? Oh my God. Orange woke up and rolled green's nine stack. What was that? <laughs> yeah, green's loving it. Green's like, yeah, boy, thanks for that, bro. I mean, green's almost dead now. Oh my god, it's going to be one of these games. This is amazing. I love these games. And green, imagine if green was, was like the only good player in the game. Oh, that means my nine troops in North America are in, are in deep trouble. I'm going to make an alliance with the orange player. Okay. <clears throat> this is hilarious. So, everything obviously goes in Indonesia. 
I think I attack this way with my five. And then I fortify these together. And hope Orange lets me out. They did not accept my lines request. I'm not expecting them to. I think Orange is a beginner. So I think... Where's my lucky pen? Well, can't be that lucky because it's gone. So I think um, Orange and Pink are both beginners. It looks like Yellow may have quit. No, they're here. But they're just taking their sweet time. They're putting in North America, so orange and yellow are going to fight, too. This can't actually... This couldn't be any better. I need to get a set, though, before pink does, because you know if pink gets a trade before me, they're just going to suicide my game, right? Okay, blue seems like they're decent. I like what blue's doing. So what we're going to do is we're going to stack here. We're going to move, we're going to attack towards Egypt. And then we're going to put those positions together and hope that Orange doesn't hit them, even though they probably will. Because if Orange wakes up and just rolls a nine stack of greens, <laughs> you know what I'm talking about. All right. So let's see if pink continues to act stupid. Or inexperienced, I should say, not stupid. When I call people stupid in this game, I don't mean that they're actually stupid. I just, it's just my kind of dickhead way of referring to a novice as a novice. Okay, looks like they're doing something different here. All right. Uh, let's talk about the setting. Actually, let's watch Orange's turn first to see if they roll my 8 stack. Okay, they into Asia. Do they get the 8 out of the way? I don't think they're going to. I think they're just going to put the 4 back onto the 8. And they roll green again. Okay, this... Poor green, man. Green's just totally getting targeted. Okay, so at least they kind of give me a take, I guess? Wow. <laughs> Green's getting bad dice, too. They just rolled a 2. <laughs> Poor green. My god, what is going on in this game? What is going on in this game? Yeah. Sorry about that, folks. Sorry. Okay, so... <laughs> okay, Blue's just going to get a card and pass, and they're just going to stack. And I fully like their plan. I th I suspect blue is probably my best opponent here. Okay, we're going to continue to stack Indonesia because that's kind of our baby right now. No one seems to be really interested in Africa, so I think I am going to roll the 8 in North America. And pass my turn. Okay, so do we get a trade? A trade would be massive here. No trade. Okay. Yeah. Blue, we can be allies. All right, guys. Settings for today's game are World Domination, Classic Map, Auto Setup, 60-second Turn Timer, Hard, Automated Bots, Fixed Cards, Balance Blitz Dice, No Rank Restrictions, Alliances and Blizz are on, but Fog and Portals are off. In position one, we have the green player, Fedor from Russia. In position two, we got the yellow player, General Hoga from United Kingdom. In position three, we got the blue player, Brittany the Saint from USA. 
I'm in position four with my Anything Goes account. We're currently ranked as a Grandmaster. In position five, we've got Martin Steinesto from Norway playing as pink. And in position six, we've got the orange player, General Sama from USA. I sure hope that pink doesn't have a 10 trade on three. Because if they do, I might be dog meat in Australia. And, I, and pink goes right after me, so it means everyone will get a shot at killing me uh, beforehand. Surprisingly, green was able to hold South, South America, even being so weak. All right, so they put in South America and they create an exterior. Okay, pink goes into Africa. This is probably a better plan. Pink probably should have done this from the get-go, right? But they decided to do that crazy run in Australia and then d didn't realize that it was just completely fruitless until they actually got there. That just tells me they're a beginner, right? So I got a guess on green as well, yellow, and blue. I think yellow's a beginner. I think green is an intermediate, and I think blue is an intermediate. Okay, there are my guesses. We'll see at the end of the video how I did. All right, so yellow continue continuing to trade in North America. Orange wants an alliance. I might actually, I, if I just said, I'd actually kill you. Oh, they accepted my alliance. Okay. I can't actually kill the orange player. Because I'd be rolling uh, 12 v 11, and then I'd still have to hit 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 positions in Asia. Not possible. Unless, of course, I go pounding through all this. I don't think that's a good plan for three cards. Okay, blue's going to kill green. Okay, so blue is definitely my best competition. There's no question about it. If I could kill them, I would. That was a good kill. No, they're just blues deciding where they're going to put their stack. Maybe they're deciding if they can kill orange or not, because they're going to keep the stack in Europe. And they missed their fortify. That's interesting that they missed their fortify. I mean, if I had it set right now, I would kill blue right now for their cards. Absolutely no doubt in my mind. Can I feed blue? No, I don't think that's a good idea. All right. Let's continue stack. I'm going to move this towards Greenland. I'm now holding four cards, and i got to do trade. Shit. That's not fun. There's not a lot I can do with a dude trade. Okay, pink sets, gets the 10. Let's hope they don't do something stupid and put it in Siam. They really need to move this stack. I get that, you know, you failed you failed your attempt, but I think there should be a priority to get rid of this. Maybe pink starts hitting blue because they're a beginner. Or they're going to put this 16 in my face. What they should be doing is killing orange. I'm going to lose the four stack. A great dice. I'm going to take Africa. Now, unfortunately for me, they just opened up blue to me. 
So if I lose my six up here, blue could kill me. And if I was blue, I would kill me. Okay, so orange is going to be on four cards. I think I have to take the dude trade. And orange finally decides to leave North America. I think that's a smart plan. Yellow's on five on four cards. So I don't think there's going to be an opportunity for me here to chain kills and kind of resolve this game early. I think we might have to move into the kind of the, the stable phase portion of, of classic fixed. And yellow closes their, their army. So that tells me that yellow is a beginner indeed. I, I, I'm going to stick with that. And then they bury their army. Okay, black trades. They get a 10 trade. That's nice. Oh boy. That's scary. You're gonna kill orange, yeah. Black's playing very oh, sorry, blue's playing very, very well. I like all these moves. I don't think they're gonna have enough to kill yellow though. They're not in the right position. Maybe they attract attack attention here, right? We did get another 10 trade out of that deal. It is definitely Blue's game to lose, for sure. They're a very, very good player. I have them as intermediate. I'm definitely going to roll them up to master. So I think Blue is a master. Well, we got might have our work cut out for us. But... Remember, there's two novice players or, or beginner players on the board right now. And Blue says that they want Europe. Okay. So this is what I'm going to do. I am going to trade, unfortunately. Reluctantly trade my do trade. And this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to make two attacks. I want yellow to get strong. Give yellow an opportunity to take North America. Uh, let's also make an alliance with the yellow player. Okay, let's hope that pink attacks blue here. And they do. I think Blue is expecting that. Okay, this is great. Oh, and they finally, finally move the four. <laughs> so my stack is now open. Yellow, you should need to take North America now. I can't... Well, pink has pointed everything at you. That is actually... I just... I didn't notice that. I don't know why Pink's doing this. Let them know they can attack my territory if they need to, for sure. But hurry up and do it, though, dude. You're wasting time. There's 30 seconds. You're over, you're over halfway through your turn. Dude, hurry up. Let's go. Come on, yellow. Time's a wasting, bro. Oh my god, you're not even gonna get it. Hurry up. Okay, good. Okay, so at least then they split. Oh man, so yellow's gonna be an ineffective attacker, right? Because of all of this. This here. Let's see what the blue player does.
Okay, they get another 10 trade. This guy has good, good, good cards. Very good cards. They're going to go into pink. Or are they going to hit the seven? They go into pink. Okay, this is a good thing. I don't need to advance out yet, but I will walk into Japan. And let's hope that we can get that. Nope, okay, we need a dude. We actually need a dude. Now if pink it if pink goes ham into blue, this will open up the game for me. Let's see how hard they hit blue. Oh my god, if pink does a suicide here. Oh, blue still has 30 though. Blue still has 30. Does blue kill pink? Do they have enough? I don't think they do. Because this nine's locked. I think yellow's too slow to play the North American position. Oh, no, no, don't feed it. Don't feed it, yellow. Don't feed it. Don't feed it, dude. Okay, so... That's good. It's blue going to try. Is blue going to try? I need to go into blue. Let's hope blue doesn't have a set. Do I have a set? I do. I have a big trade. Okay, so I'm at war with blue because they're the best player. Yellow's just slow. I'm going to tell yellow to attack my territory if you need to. Also attack blue. Oh, they put everything here. Okay, so they're gonna they're gonna knock me out of South America with the seven. I have to kill blue. I really hope blue doesn't have a trade. Oh, and they don't hit me. That's amazing. 
Blues 9 being locked in Iceland is a is a huge thing for me. No trade. Come on, no trade. It's intense, guys. Okay, well, if Blues quit, the game's over. Okay, they haven't quit. We have to kill blue here. I went the wrong way. Let's do it this way. Terrible dice. Okay. Now I'm in a 1v1. Siberia. Middle East. Uh, let's do this. So this is what we're doing. We're going to break yellow. Put some guards up. Okay, so I'm in a 1v1. Pretty evenly matched. They have two extra cards, but their, their big army's locked. Let's hope they don't... I don't have a trade. I think they're slow. Minus 19 on a 19. Okay, so they're halfway through their turn. They haven't even placed their troops yet. So yellow, the yellow player should have been... A, a good player can beat me here, right? The only reason I'm doing this is because I, I identified the yellow, uh, yellow player as a weaker player, right? And look at this. They will, they've almost used their whole turn, and, they have, and they've only placed their troops. This game will be over in no time if they don't start hitting me. They're not even going to... They might not even break Europe. So, yeah, yellow beginner, for sure. Yeah, you can't let me have 21 troops. <laughs> so, I mean, I'm literally just going to do this. They're already under 12 troops. I'm just going to make a big army. It's fine. <clears throat> do I have a trade yet? I do have a big trade. So yellow, bless their heart, they just don't know what to do, right? They just don't know what to do, but I mean, they got a four trade on three. They need to be attacking. I'm going to give him a little, like, here. You got to go. You got to start punching, yellow. Yeah, they're totally new at the game. Good job. Okay, now they start breaking. This is good. And they're taking territory. But they don't break Europe. See, they, they break South America before they break Europe. So they're, they're actually really helping me here. 
And all I'm really going to do now is I don't even need to trade. Actually, yeah, I do because I'm going to do this. I'm going to card block them. Right? Oh, this actually isn't going to work. We'll try it. Well, it's going to be close. Okay, I can card block them like this. Hit the 10. Yeah, this will work. I pull the 5 out of Madagascar. Now they can't even get a card. So, we're doing the card block endgame strategy. Now I can't lose. This is a rare strategy that I use in Classic Fixed, right? Because um, card blocking in Fix is not nearly as, as effective as it, is, as it is in Progressive, right? Um, but in the in the one v one, it is a more more effective strategy because you can cripple your opponent for one turn. See what they're doing here? So now now they're figuring it out. Um, so all I have to do is this. I think I can just end the game here. Great dice there. And they say well played and good game. So uh, they're, they're a gentleman or a gentlewoman about it. Just roll that. And that's all she wrote. All right. Love it. Absolutely love it. Great game. Uh, so I said orange beginner or pink beginner. Yellow beginner. I think yellow is probably maybe even a novice. Uh, blue master. Green intermediate. Let's see how I did on my guesses. Okay, so I said green intermediate. They were beginner. I was wrong. I said yellow beginner. I said yellow novice. They're beginner. Close enough. I said blue was a master. They're an intermediate. Okay, so I was wrong there. Um, I said pink was a beginner. I was correct. And I said orange was a beginner. They're a novice. Close enough. So great guesses. All right, guys, if you like the video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Follow me on Twitch. The link's down in the description. And until I see you next time, you keep fighting that good fight.